is a 10 year old Lenovo computer and it runs Windows 7 and I've been trying to upgrade it to Windows 10 and I get all kinds of errors and so I did a bunch of testing on the unit and what I found was that uh, I have some bad RAM memory in it and I decided to try to fix this myself. So what I need in order to accomplish this is of course a new RAM card Uh, jeweler screwdriver, little Phillips jeweler screwdriver, because there are four little tiny screws to remove on the case. In there, and an old credit card. So I will show you how that works. First, we'll take out these little screws. It's nice if your screwdriver is magnetic, because then you don't drop the screws. And I use this little dish here to um, put the screws in so I don't lose them. They come out very easily. And then the reason we need the credit card is because this case snaps together and it is really, really tight and there are little plastic clips in there and by taking the credit card and sticking it in the crevice, you can find the clips and press them to release them. And it's a little bit of a trick, but go around the case, there goes one, and we release those clips, there's another one around to this other side, it's over here, let's see, maybe we'll come this way since I got this loose, hopefully I won't drop this thing on the ground, I am sitting over a soft pad though, there we go, it releases, realize till now I have to take off these two little nuts that hold the VGA uh, adapter, video adapter, plug, socket, whatever it's called there, because they go through the case too. So there we go. Now, maybe we can get the whole thing apart. There we go. Aha. And there's the uh, card I'm going to replace right there. See how that works. There's two little clips to pull to the side. The card comes right out. I'm going to take the new card, put it in the same direction. I'm going to keep our fingers off all those contacts. We don't need greasy fingers on there. Snap it all the way in. There it goes. New card's in place. And then we'll close up the it on here. Let's see, which way should I go? I think I'll engage this side first. There. All snapped together. Now I just put the screws back on, those little nuts, and then we'll go in and try it. Okay, I've got it all hooked up.
it mounts on the back of this monitor. That's the um, video cable that's wrapped around there because it's too long. And then all my power and my speakers are plugged in. So we'll see if this is going to work. Turn on the power button. Around here. Turn on the monitor. And we'll see what happens here. Let's see. Starting windows, it says. Hopefully this is going to be my Windows 7 screen. Everything will come up and run. And then I will run a little test and see if my memory is working. So here's my Lenovo diagnostic screen with this little software tool. Click on System. Here's my system information loading up. I go down here and we're going to click on Memory. And let's see what it says. Physical memory. And now it says, yeah, we've got four gigs. And it's DDR2. You know, it's an old computer, so it's slow. It's not up to uh, what's happening nowadays with computer processing speeds. Um, anyway, let's see. We'll go and we'll look at our log. I ran a little memory test. I did a quick test and ran this. And look at that. It says passed. No errors found. So... I think everything's working, and I can go ahead and try to do my um, Windows 10 update now and see if it all works out.